you guys, welcome back to another one. If you are new to the channel, I am Gold Pony, and today we are in the new 2019 Volkswagen Tiguan, courtesy of Hanover Volkswagen in Hanover, PA. And when this thing first came out in the 2018 model year, I was a huge fan. The styling definitely won me over the instant I saw it, and I did not review that 2018, so therefore I am in the 2019. So as always, you guys, let's start with pricing. And so there will be quite a few different trim levels for the 2019 Tiguan. First one being the S, starting at $24,295. SE for $26,695. SEL for $31,795. SEL R-Line for $33,645. SEL Premium All-Wheel Drive for $37,195. And lastly, the SEL Premium R-Line All-Wheel Drive, the one we have today, starting at $38,895. And by the way, for those first four trim levels that I gave you guys, that was for the front wheel drive variant. If you wanted to go all wheel drive for any of those setups, simply add $1,300 to any of those prices. But so that is simplified things a little bit, regardless of which trim level that you go with, the power plant will be the same. Powering the 2019 Tiguan is going to be a two liter turbocharged inline four cylinder engine, putting out 184 horsepower at 4,400 RPM and 221 pound feet of torque available at 1,600 RPM. Power again sent to front wheels or all wheels through Volkswagen's four motion all wheel drive system. And that power is sent to the ground through an eight speed automatic giving you MPG numbers coming in at 22 in the city, 29 on the highway using regular unleaded fuel, saving a little bit of money there. That's always a good thing. And but so then before we do any kind of acceleration in the 2019 Tiguan, I did want to mention there are some driving modes and terrain select modes as well. That is definitely pretty sweet in an SUV. But the driving mode button is going to be labeled mode, go fix it's a circular dial directly behind the shifter there, but that's going to give you eco, normal, sport, and custom. And essentially what those driving modes are going to do is adjust things like the throttle response, the shift points, and the steering sensitivity. And so I just put it in that sport driving mode. It is a noticeably heavier weight to the steering wheel, which I love. I always prefer a heavier weight to the steering wheel. It makes you feel more in control of the car, but definitely a fan of that sport driving mode, I got to say. But like I was saying, in addition to that, that circular dial, once again, if you turn it to the left and to the right, there's going to be different terrain select modes, giving you snow, normal, and off-road. That is pretty nice as well. Now that I've touched on all of the driving modes in this thing, let's do a quick little acceleration and let's see how quickly we can get this turbocharged four-cylinder gear up to speed. Definitely wouldn't mind a bit more power in this one, but still, it's not a bad acceleration. It does have over 200 pound-feet of torque, but, but with SUVs, they are a bit weightier than, let's say, their car counterparts. So, not a bad acceleration, but probably could use a little bit more power. But so that to go along with that acceleration, braking is equally important. And so, up front, you will find 13.4 inch ventilated front discs. In the back, 11.8 inch solid rear discs. And as far as the braking feel goes, I've had absolutely no issues in my short little test drive today and then touching on suspension a little bit up front you will find a strut type front suspension in the back a multi-link rear suspension also front and rear stabilizer bars and as far as the ride quality goes it is a little bit bumpy on these back roads it's not bad though i will say it's probably about average for the segment steering feel is definitely quite nice in the sport driving mode i will say that so i'm a quite a big fan of the steering feel on this thing when it comes to cabin noise it's not bad once again i do have the panoramic moonroof which i'll get a little bit into later but that does tend to let in a little more exterior noises into the cabin than let's say if you did not have it but certainly not annoying or anything like that by any means so good to go there as well and honestly when it comes to visibility i would actually say this one is better than a lot of the other suvs in its class because it is more of a boxier shape i guess you could say so you can definitely see quite well out the back there and so banal enough with the driving dynamics you guys now now that we are at the park once again, let's take a look at the exterior of this 2019 Volkswagen Tiguan. And so to start, halogen headlights with the automatic feature will come standard on the Tiguan. Fog lights will come with the SEL trim leveling up. You will find LED headlights if you go with the SEL premium and also R-Line badging since we do have the R-Line trim level today. And there's also an R-Line specific front bumper. So it will have a little less of an approach angle, I guess you could say up front, but it will also look a little bit better in my opinion at least. But make your way to the side of the Tiguan. Tinted rear windows will come standard along with roof rails across the board. Silver roof rails, however, will come with the SEL trim level and up. Otherwise, you're going to get black roof 
roof rails. Power adjustable heated side mirrors will come standard and looking down at the wheel setup, you will find 17 inch 10 spoke alloy wheels for the S, 17 inch multi spoke alloy wheels for the SE, 18 inch multi spoke alloy wheels for the SEL and 19 inch alloys if you go with the R line trim level or the SEL premium. And then swinging around to the back, a rear spoiler with an integrated brake light will come standard and just below that a rear window wiper. LED taillights will actually come standard for every single trim level, that's definitely a plus, you usually don't see that. And just below all of that, dual exhaust outlets with chrome tips so you guys know what we have to do next. As always, here is that exhaust clip. Let's open now since we are around back to open that rear lift gate there actually is a button on the key fob but that is because we do have the sel trim level and up you will get a power lift gate if you go with the sel trim level and up once opened up cargo capacity is going to come in at 12 cubic feet behind that third row so yes the tiguan does come available with a third row if you wanted it there and if you ended up folding all of those seats down cubic feetness bumps up to 65.7 there and there's going to be some cargo tie down hooks in the back along with the 12 volt power outlet in that cargo area as well then make your way to the rear legroom let me demonstrate for you guys i'll get this a shot as far as third row legroom goes i'm an even six feet tall this is how much space i had back there moving up to the second row that's actually going to come in at 36.5 inches so again six feet tall this is how much space i had also for those rear passengers in that second row they will find a rear center armrest with cup holders back there and if you wanted rear ventilation that is going to come with the r line trim level and up then make your way to the front seat six way manually adjustable cloth seats will come with the s then if you jump up to the se trim level you will get a 10-way power adjustable driver's seat with power lumbar also that'll come with vtex leather at surfaces and those front seats will be heated as well then if you jump up to the sel premium that is going to add full leather seating if you were interested Take a look up front, there is a tilt and telescoping steering wheel. It is leather wrapped for the SE trim level and up, and it will come heated if you go with the SEL premium trim level. And but so then as far as the startup goes, let me first start by showing you guys the key here. You do have your Volkswagen logo on the one side, and when you flip it over, lock, unlock, and that button to pop the rear hatch. And there is actually a remote start available if you go with the SEL trim level and up as well and a push button start if you go with the SE trim level and up. So I'm actually just gonna simply take that route, put my foot on the brake and press that engine start button located just to the left of the shifter there. But so now one of my favorite parts of the Tiguan is going to be that Volkswagen digital cockpit that we have today. And by the way, if you wanted that, that comes with the SEL trim level and up. And it is essentially just like the Audi virtual cockpit. You do have the ability to display that navigation map within the center there, just like Audi. Audi does tachometers on your left speedometers on your right and there's a ton of different things you can actually scroll through within that center digital display doesn't have to be navigation you could check out your driving statistics vehicle status Bluetooth information audio information so quite a bit of stuff you can actually check out you can make the gauges larger you can make the gauges smaller if you go with the navigation setup so I love that Volkswagen digital cockpit. Let me just put it that way. Then make your way to overall interior quality. Dual zone climate control will come standard for the SE trim level and up. Panoramic sunroof for the SEL trim level and up. And with the SEL premium, you will get ambient lighting. Overall, I definitely don't mind the interior. I kind of like that there is a small rubberized tray just to the left of the cup holders behind the shifter there. That's pretty cool. Electronic parking brake. Also dual USB ports. There's also a quilted leather on the doors there. That's that's pretty cool as well, but I also actually have home link controls for up to three different garage doors right around this frameless rear view mirror here. So definitely not minding the interior quality here, but now let's make our way to the tech display. 6.5 inch color touchscreen display will come with the S trim level. If you jump up to the SE trim level, you will get an eight inch color touchscreen display. And that's gonna be for all the trim levels above that as well. But either way, you will get Bluetooth and audio streaming. And either way, you will also get Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. So therefore, if you hook your smartphone up to the Tiguan, you will have a free navigation system as well as the ability to like and dislike your Pandora songs up there. That's definitely a good thing. 
factory navigation system will come with the SEL trim level and up. And you can also check out your radio information, of course. And when it comes to the sound system on this one, six speakers is gonna come with all trims, but the SEL premium trim level, because that SEL premium is going to give you a Fender premium audio system, which is the one we have today. So you guys know what we have to do next. Let's turn on the radio, see what we got playing today, and let's test out the clarity of this one. <laughs> Definitely a good bit of bass. I have a Fender guitar and I love it and I love the Fender sound system too. So definitely no issues there. Then last thing I wanted to mention on the tech display at least is when you do put the Tiguan in reverse, you will find a rear view camera. And that is for all trim levels, letting you know who or what is behind you, which is always is going to lead me into safety. And so to start, there are front side and side curtain airbags. Also in the back, there is latch, AKA lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats. Also tire pressure monitoring system, the SE trim level is going to add a blind spot monitor as well as forward collision warning and autonomous emergency braking. Our line trim level is going to add rear cross traffic alert and the SEL premium trim level is going to add a lane keeping system, high beam control and an adaptive front lighting system as well. And so, but that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like the video and subscribe. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen there and I will see you guys in the next video. Stay gold. Oh,